Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about vulnerability. So first of all, vulnerability can pretty much be summed up to stepping outside of your comfort zone, putting your guard down, and opening yourself up, and allowing yourself to be criticized. You could be bringing up things that you're deeply ashamed of, or things that have embarrassed you, hurt you, um, you've been betrayed. Vulnerability is really a tough thing to experience and go through. When I started this YouTube channel, I really wanted to be authentic. I wanted to be honest. And I knew that that was going to require me to be vulnerable. And it's been a journey thus far with being vulnerable on this YouTube channel. There are stories and things that have happened to me that I thought I would never share with anyone, let alone open myself up and share these things with pretty much, you know, the entire world via YouTube. I go through times where I, you know, I like wake up in the morning after I post a YouTube video the prior night and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I said that. I can't believe that I revealed that. I can't believe that I told something that was really hard for me to tell, something that was really, you know, things that have, are, are deeply personal to me that have um, some things maybe even like deeply hurt me and opened myself up to criticism and for people to weigh in on things that have happened to me. So it has definitely been a journey, but I know that I have gotten comments from some of you that you appreciate my honesty, you appreciate my openness. So why aren't people more vulnerable? And probably the biggest reason why people are not vulnerable or people aren't vulnerable enough is because when you do open yourself up to criticism, a lot of the times people will weaponize that against you and use it against you and you will then regret that you ever said or did certain things to make yourself look a certain way. Like I said, I know with my YouTube channel, I've revealed stuff that I thought I would never tell anybody and I've opened myself up to criticism and people to judge me and that can be, that can be really tough and challenging. So when you're not vulnerable, it really just keeps you safe. Nothing more can really hurt you or get to you and you kind of just continue to remain like stagnant in your life, not growing, not changing, not evolving. So one of the biggest positives of vulnerability is the emotional growth that being vulnerable will require you to be. And so this YouTube channel really is requiring me to confront and face more things and actually doing the work, putting in the work to confront, you know, feelings that I've had or, or experiences that I've had that... I have been ashamed of or embarrassed of and yes that is very uncomfortable and sometimes I do regret that I have put myself been so open and honest and you're going to continue to it's going to push you even further to work on yourself to become a better person to become a more self-aware person to become a more emotionally mature person that can handle lots of things um, it has been hard reading mean comments or seeing mean comments or receiving criticism that's not, um, constructive, that has been really hard and challenging. And if I would have started a YouTube channel many years ago when I actually wanted to, I know that the mean comments and criticism would have eaten me alive, torn me apart, like I would have totally really second guessed and questioned everything about myself. And I'm not saying that I still don't do that sometimes, but I am so much in a better spot. And I know that I'm committed to, you know, my emotional growth and my journey to becoming the best version of myself possible. So, and I know that's going to require vulnerability and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. So for me, that's this YouTube channel. For you, maybe it's something else in your life. You need to figure that out, what it is. Is it, is it possible to be too vulnerable? You know, that's an interesting question 
as well. So maybe something's happened to you where you've shared something in confidence with somebody and at, later down the line, they bring it up and they use it against you. So then you instantly regret doing that. You almost shut down and then you sometimes will never even reveal anything further about yourself to that particular person or you just shut down in general with like everybody and you kind of, you know, you think, you know, you've learned your lesson and you're not going to put yourself in that position once again. So I know that that happens to many people and it is unfortunate that people will do that to you. They will weaponize things against you. It just, there just seems to be a lot of people out there that are like that. And sometimes I think though, maybe I'm not trying to make excuses for those people, but sometimes they are not aware of when they do weaponize things against people that they're not aware that they're doing it. They're maybe just trying to bring that up again and talk about it and people maybe misinterpret it. Um, that's maybe some, what of a different angle as well. Vulnerability is, has pros and cons like anything and if you're committed to your emotional growth, if you're committed to, you know, moving ahead and maybe confronting some of these uncomfortable truths and shames that you have, then I think finding ways to be more vulnerable and stepping out of your comfort zone can be a very good thing. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got something. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time.